Discussion item G. Discussion of wastewater treatment plant and sewer project payment methods. And you've had several of them in your packet. Another one. <laughs> Exactly. I, I think that if we had a meeting about the garbage, why couldn't we include this information okay. at the same well, time? I would make I a comment. We might want to move on this a little quicker than that. On this? Yes. Uh, well, whatever. I just think that the more they understand what we're up against and what it entails, what, what, the better. Has the engineers asked us how to figure that or what is... We make a need need to make a determination on this and start to get it into process because it will take us once we are ready to actually put it before the council. It will take six weeks minimum. But how far are we how far are we from uh, bidding yet though for the engineering to go to bid for the sewer plant? Uh, my understanding is is that they plan on breaking ground by May first this year. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have to. We're within some restrictions. The uh -huh. DNR has given us a I timeline. I'd very because Obama's going to give us some money. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to hold my breath. <laughs> Adam, no. I, would, I would ask you, and there's, there's a lot of proposals in there, but some of them really are way out on a limb. I'd ask you to just talk about the one that you think is the most feasible, rather than going through some that we know we aren't going to do. There are two I would probably recommend above any of the others. Um, under the 25-year option and the 30-year option, there is one that you'll see referred to as the equalized water and sewer rates use tax levy for remainder. Um, is that table six? That it would be table six on the 30 and table six on the 25. Um, the reason why I don't recommend the 20 years, if you look at the rate considerations in the 20 year, um, based upon the levy need for the 20 year, you would be looking at somewhere between a just under $6 and just under $7 increase in the um, debt service levy to be able to pay for that project in a 20 year period of time. And that's even with equalizing the water rate and the sewer rate. So, um, does everyone understand what I mean by equalizing those two? That we would basically structure the sewer rate so that it would basically mirror the water rate. So you'd basically be paying the same amount for your sewer water as you'd be paying for your fresh water. And then everything for the cost <coughs> over that would then be rolled into debt service tax. Um, the two that I mentioned uh, for the 25 and the 30 year, just to give you a brief detail on that, um, the 25 year would result in somewhere between a 4 and $5 increase in the debt service levy rate. Um, the, the reason why I say that there's a range there is that's a result of the CDBG grant. If we receive the CB, CDBG grant, it'd be on the lower end. If we don't receive the CDBG grant, it'd be on the higher end. Um, so that's how that impacts that, and that's the reason why I'm giving you a range of two there. And um, what, what's the range the rate's going to be in the water itself, or the sewer rate, what, how much per thousand? It would be $6.75 per thousand, just like our water rates. Basically, whatever you're paying right now in water, is what your sewer rates would be. Well, what is our sewer rate now? Six dollars and seventy-five cents. So. Oh, I'm sorry. What's the difference? Sewer rates. What's, what's our rates going to be on the water on the consumer side? Four fifty four. Four four. Roughly. I don't see that I have a now, Would we be raising the sewer rate to like three dollars a thousand or? for the consumer, and then $3 on them. Your minimum and your rate per thousand are both going to work. That we're, that's what we're talking about here, raising the... Right. You would raise the, I mean, basic, like I said, and I mean, you guys understand that, but basically if you're paying $33 a month on water, which the average user, I believe, when we talked about it, was $32, $33 a month, your sewer rate's going to be $32 to $33 a month. Um, and then, of course, the, uh, the other portion would be rolled into long-term, uh, to the debt service levy. And that would go up. 
screwed to three dollars and seventy five cents per barrel. If we do a thirty, 30 year. if we do a twenty five year, it would be right around four to four dollars. <laughs> right between four and five dollars. Four dollars is the meter charge. Four fifty for each thousand. And what's the water then? Right now on the water, it's set at six dollars and seventy five cents for the um, for the per thousand. And do you remember what the meter charge? Well, so otherwise, we'd raise them. we the rates two dollars and twenty five cents, basically. Per thousand. Per yes. thousand right. water sewer. And the average user uses right around four thousand yeah. gallons. I wouldn't be opposed to having our water, our sewer is higher than our water. But well, one of the other options in here. I'd is rather pay four or five dollars a month more up front than pay another two hundred dollars on my taxes every year. That's where I think we need. Like I say, I think we need a public meeting and put a PowerPoint together and have about three options and have handouts and. You're, well, yeah, we, you're going to get mixed opinions. I mean, you're going to get a lot of opinions. You're going to get answer. you're going to get a lot of people questioning, like we did here, a 20-year plant. Why are you taking a 30-year note out on a 20-year plant? I mean, it's the same thing as somebody taking a car loan out for 15 years. You know, on the same token, you're going to be talking about people that are going to be sitting there and saying, "I want to do 30 years because I want it to be the least amount of increase the way the economy is today." But you have I mean, to consider right now, we build a 20-year plant and we're in our 28th year. Exactly. So, That's what if, if they're taking really care of the, the, if they're properly maintained, they will yeah. Yeah. Well, well, the next thing is, after five years, if we need, we can raise, we can raise the rates, which would probably go well, anyway, another dollar and get a little excess and pay off the bonds earlier or do something like that. Or not. You know, it's like a car loan or a house loan. You know, as long as you can and pay double up. All right. I just I just think with, with things of this magnitude, we do need to include the public input of it. I mean, we're making the decision for the entire city. Well, it wouldn't take Adam long to put a PowerPoint together and have it at the next meeting. Even if only 40% of the people participate, or else have that no gives us give the support. All right. You could have it with in a bigger meeting right. place, and I'm not so sure that wouldn't be. What do you folks think? I think I would like to see it. I, I, I don't know how many people would show up for a meeting, but I think if, if the paper were to print that you're considering raising the sewer rate a couple dollars a thousand, I think you'd get a lot of people to show up to see why. Let's see, one thing that's got to be made clear, the plant has to be paid for. We, we know that. It has to be paid for, you got these options. Right. But at the same time, you know, I. I look at what Brian's saying here. A 30-year loan on a 20-year plant, uh, you know, that's just mortgaging your grandkids again. <laughs> but there's a lot of people who ain't going to be able to take a $10 right. a hit. Exactly. High raise on it. That's true. <coughs> and you get, we're going to be thinking about the future, the people that are coming in after us, you know, 10, 12 years down the road, 15 years down the road. Three. Why in the heck are they... Yeah, it might not even be that long. <laughs> but uh, that's we're going to be faced with that. Yeah. The, the equalization option was actually presented for two reasons. One was is that some initial discussion I was getting back was is that people had a hard time understanding why their uh, their um, sewer water would cost more than rain, uh, than their clear water. And secondly, the issue was is that we recognized the fact that um, a portion of this going into property taxes, that property taxes is, of course, tax deductible federally. Um, so there is some benefit going back to those in the community because then, then they can use it as a tax That's deduction. That's who itemize. How many people itemize anymore? I don't know if they do negative. Yeah, I think they do. <laughs> Can we also send out possibly a... For, you, you know, make it a public meeting, but also send the survey out. Uh, I don't have to do it during a council meeting either. It can be just, it can yeah, be, yeah. Well, we could have a special, probably best to have a special council meeting and then have it held on premises and then see you know, our papers in town advertise the hell out of it. Yeah. Nobody shows up, then they don't give a shit and we'll do what we want to do. <laughs> <laughs>